Since the end of March, schools and colleges in Manipur has been closed down amid the pandemic COVID-19. Uh, well, uh, despite the state government initiated online classes for those students studying both in private and government schools, students especially staying in the remote areas, those who do not have proper internet connections, have been facing a lot of hardships trying to access these online classes. Now, in another report, uh, as per the the latest uh, SOB issued by the Ministry of Family and Welfare on the reopening of schools, especially for those students studying in class 9 to class 12. Uh, well, there are lots of, uh, uh, you know, uh, complaints or in fact there is a lot of tensions for the parents since there is a rumors that the schools would be opened for especially studying class 9 to class 12. So on this regard, the State Education Department, uh, Ratisham, uh, Singh has clarified it that the schools will be reopening from the 21st of September uh, and the uh, four classes uh, from class 9 to 12 which is not correct no, some, the, there are some misinformation and uh, miscommunication and wrong information so I just wanted to clarify it through print and electronic media uh, actually there was a circular SOP issued on the 8th of September 2020 from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Directorate General of Health Services. Uh, the SOP for partial reopening of schools for students of class 9 to 12. Classes on a voluntary basis for taking guidance from their teachers in the context of COVID-19. Now, this is a partial reopening, no regular classes. It, it, is, it has to be purely on the basis of voluntary, voluntary basis. That if the children are students from class 9 to 12 are willing, irrespective of they belong to private school or government school, if they are willing, then voluntarily, if they want to go, they can go. But they will not be forced. If they don't want to go, they will not go. It's purely voluntary basis. At the same time, the parents also have to give consent in writing that our children, our wards, they want to attend class, uh, and want to go to the school for taking guidance. If as they are willing to go, we have we give our consent. So in writing, the parents have to give consent. But there will be no regular class, no classes. It is just to take guidance on COVID on examination, on regular classes, how, what is our preparedness, if they have any problem other than regular classes also, in school academics, those things. So there is no such thing as of reopening of schools from 21st of September for students of class 9 to 12. So I request you all to reach out this information to the far-flung areas, the students, parents. Already parents and students and teachers are, they are already worried as we did not have regular classes for last uh, more than six months. Now again, if we give them wrong information, it will double their worry. So please let us not uh, uh, increase their worry. Let us clarify and also uh, reach out, reach them the correct information. Let's not, let's try to avoid wrong information, misinformation. Thank you. So, what are the process of reopening of schools and colleges? Now, we, we are in constant touch with the stakeholders. We used to have regular meetings, uh, offline meetings and online meetings, um, especially with the student unions, the student leaders, then the parents, teachers, then school uh, associations, private schools, government schools, how to go about it. So if we have to open, now this is a, a SOP from the health ministry, the home ministry and education ministry, they will give guide, guidelines based on our suggestion proposals. Every state have different unique problems in relation to COVID-19. So based on that, the, the union government will give a broad general guideline, then state government will prepare SOP and will uh, take decision when and how to open uh, the schools. Now uh, the final exams for 
graduation BA, BCom and BAC are going to be conducted in the last part of the September. So it has to be completed by the end of the last part of September. Now, so we are starting with exams. Then we may think of having giving guidance as per the SOP, calling some students who are willing and if they have some problem, the parents, the teachers and students, they should meet up, meet up and discuss problems, take guidance. So we are working on it, we are preparing. As soon as we get, get the guidelines from the Ministry of Home Affairs and uh, Education Ministry, then the, our state government under the leadership of Honorable CM will take a decision and we'll let you know. And whatever we are going to do, it will be for the welfare of the students. But at the end of the day, everyone, each and every one of us should always remember that lives are more precious than anything else. So that is our main point, main focus, that we must secure and save the lives. After that, education, health, anything, everything will follow. Thank you. Well, uh, at present, how many Corinthian centers are being used for colleges and schools in the state? Now, all have been vacated. We have already sanitized uh, only one college till day before yesterday. I spoke to the uh, principal secretary, health. Uh, it's not used as uh, quarantine, but the, the school, uh, college was used as testing center. But they were supposed to be shifted somewhere else. I think by tomorrow or so, it will be shifted and everything will be ready. Uh, what's the name of the college? It is uh, Modern College. If you have any queries, please leave your questions on the comment box and please to follow to East Mojo and also like our page on social media on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter. And please don't forget to click on the notification bell. This is Ali Kapai reporting for East Mojo from Manipur. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.